Our long-term Volkswagen Tiguan has already proved its metal as a city-focused medium soft in many ways, which we'll detail in later installments. Here, though, the focus is on the Tiguan's utilitarian interior. The 132C Comfort Line model we have in our garage sits in the middle of the Tiguan range and will set you back around $41k before on-road costs. And with the only option on our Tiggy long term or the $600 Pearl Effect deep black paint job, what you see is pretty much what you get. Step inside the high rider and you're greeted by the mid-spec and durable comfort cloth trim finished in a quilted diamond pattern that looks and feels premium despite not being finished in the top spec Vienna weather reserved for optional luxury package. The seats are comfortable and well bolstered and offer plenty of support, including lumbar adjustment for both driver and front passenger for those long drives. The multi-function, flat bottom steering wheel, wrapped in weather, feels nice in the hand. It features both height and reach adjustment, meaning your ideal driving position isn't a pipe dream. Looking around the cabin, there is an unmistakable feel of, well, semi-premium. Sure, the interior isn't lush in the same way BMW or Mercedes can be, but it is a cut above what you would expect from a $42K car. Soft touch plastics abound, as do brushed aluminium look highlights and accents. And just a smidge of piano black surrounds the air vents and speakers. It's enough to add to the semi-premium feel, while not overdoing the high-gloss look which can be prone to highlighting fingerprints. Point storage space is handy, with a decent-sized glove box that also houses the CD player, a phone and wallet-sized cubby forward of the gear selector, two cuff holders in the center console as well as a deep storage in, whose padded and cloth-covered lid is the perfect height for a comfortable armrest. There's another storage cubby on the dash. Featuring a flip-up lid, however, as my car advice colleague Dom Wiseman warned, don't use it for your wallet on a hot day, as you may end up with melted credit cards and the like. With the model tested here not sporting a sunroof or panoramic roof, there are two more storage cubbies located in the ceiling with space for four pairs of sunglasses, yes really. All four doors feature cubbies which can easily accommodate larger bottles, while passengers in the back row also score two cuff holders located in the fold-down armrest. What they don't get, is a S point. In fact, the Tiguan only has a single US outlet, although it does have two 12B auxiliary points, one in front and one in rear. Back row passengers do, however, score their own climate control with two vents and rear seat specific temperature controls. And there are some nifty little airplane style fold down tray tables in the back, too, as well as individual reading lights, 